great places to get low-cost books. Hello, I'm author Denise Kearney, and I'm the author of the book Fluff Pull Over Me and Long Woke Up, amongst others. Please visit me online at chistell.com. So what is this Chistel YouTube show about today? Great places to find low-cost books. Now I gotta say, start off, kick it off. Books offer so much, and their benefits can last a lifetime. So it's almost like not only knowing the work that goes into a book as an author, but the benefits from books are far, far reaching. You probably could, wouldn't find a school without books in some form in it. They are like the key to education. They offer so much things like education, enlightenment, entertainment. They stir up your imagination. They inspire you. They motivate you. They, they, they help you get away. They can help you to relax. They can teach you life skills. They can teach you work skills. All this coming through books. They can help people not feel lonely. They can give you options to improve mental health, physical health, financial health, on and on and on we can go. These benefits, again, can last a lifetime. So if you're a book lover like me, you know how easy it is to spend $100 on books. I'm telling you, uh, years ago, I bought so many books that I would almost need a grocery cart to just, when I went into the store to get all my books. I went into Barnes & Noble. I went into local bookstores. I went into your, uh, your discount local stores. And that's where I found the autograph books where somebody would, would have come in, autographed the book. This bookstore got it. It's used. But... I, they, and it was like going into a small house. It was the bookworm in Cranberry, New Jersey. I go there, sit on the floor, and just read through some of the books, buy books. I mean, it was like being at home or at my grandparents' house reading books. I love, love, love books. So it's easy to spend a hundred dollars, for, and that's just in one trip to the bookstore. So imagine if you go three, four times a week, you could go through some money that way. So what are some great places to get low-cost books? Uh, number one, I would say, you know, if you're working with a budget, you could be tempted to buy fewer books. And so the benefits that you get from the book, now you're trimming that down as well. But fortunately, without having to cut back on how many books you buy, you could still buy, read and enjoy loads of books without spending as much money. So here are some places where you could get some low-cost books. Of course, e-books. E-books generally cost less to print books because it costs less to, to create an e-book. You don't have to do your, your printing and your binding. You don't have the shelf space, which retailers have to pick up. Yeah, that's all gone with an e-book. So generally, the cost of e-book is lower. And then also, Books A Million, places like Books A Million are great places to get low-cost books. And they have good ones in there too. Amazon book giveaways, because you can't be beat free. That's again, you know, author might be trying to get some exposure so they're participating in some giveaways or maybe the publisher is, is, is doing a giveaway to a, um, a book retailer. Author website, some authors offer free or discounted books, maybe with a new release or the older title they're trying to stir up some interest in to get more exposure for their title. Libraries, libraries might be offering some discounted books as they try to um, bring in, bring on, bring new books into their inventory or maybe get older books out. Uh, local bookstores, and I'm talking about, when I say local bookstore, I'm not talking about your local Barnes and Noble. I'm talking about local, small local bookstores, like when I was saying the bookworm in Cranberry, New Jersey. And there's a uh, small bookstore in Trent, New Jersey, right off the top of my head, I can't think of the name of it, but it's very involved in the community. It does author events and, and community events. But you can, if you go through, now you might have to like go in and try to find something on discount at Nordstrom Rack or Macy's you have to do a little digging. But if you do, you can find some discounts on some very good books at these uh, local bookstores. And then Barnes & Noble, if you've gone in there, you know, they almost always have a discount, a table of discounted books or a rack with discounted books. So those are other places to find low-cost books. And then book sites, that there are sites online, and that's all they do. They spotlight, advertise, highlight free or discounted books. So those are some great resources where you can find low-cost books. Please.
please hit that subscribe button and keep in touch with what we're doing here at the Chisel YouTube uh, channel. See you back here next week. Bye for now.